Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, let's try to understand about the ma, you, passing the URL parameters in the HTTP request. So normally when you are trying to make an HTTP request, so you often need to include a query parameters in the URL to pass the data along with the request. So let's say that for example, I will try to show you. Let's say that you are having a dummy URL like JSON placeholder, let's assume. So if you are having JSON placeholder means you will be able to see all the list of posts. So if you want to get a particular post means so you what you can do so you will pass something like question ID is equal to 1. So like this so then you will be able to get only the post that is having an ID of 1. And if you want to have the post which has been posted with the user ID of 1 means then you will be able to get all the posts which is ha which has been posted by the user ID of 1. So if you want to get a user ID of 1 and ID of 1 means then you need to post like this ID of 1. So that means you will be able to get a post which is having a user ID of 1 and ID of 1. And ID of 2 means then you will be able to get another one. So user ID of 1 and ID of 2. So here what we are trying to do, we are trying to pass the query parameters to the HTTP URL. So now when you are trying to make an HTTP request, so you need to try to make the HTTP request this URL. So now that means we are passing the query, we need to include the query parameters in the URL and we need to pass the data along with the request. So Angular's HTTP client allows you to specify these parameters using the params option in the request configuration. So in order to provide these params, parameters and all those things, so we need to use the params option in the request configuration. So there are two ways how we can pass this one. So one is passing the URL parameters using the object literals. I will try to show you this one. This is one of the easiest way to pass the parameters in Angular HTTP request and it is used and it is used by using a plain JavaScript object. This object is converted to query parameters automatically by the Angular. So how we can do it is for example let's say that see this is our app component right and I will try to convert it into ng on init. Okay so on init only I will try to call and here we are trying to make the json placeholder slash post. Let's say show okay and if i try to make the request so here if i will try to show you the console.log the response let's try to see the response and here if i go into this one and if i see the inspect element of this let's go to the inspect element and here you'll be able to see area of 100 elements so we are able to get all the post data so this is fine but now i want to get the post which is having i want to get a post which is having id of one so that means i need to pass the configuration so how can i pass this configuration so normally you can take here <coughs> constant params is equal to here you can pass something like id of one so this is our object and here in this one you can pass here in the brackets this params that's it so now if you try to see here you'll be able to get only one post which is having an id of one so this is the normal one of the easiest way so if you don't want to pass like this means so you can you, uh, so like this variable and here you can use something like params and here you need to pass id of 1. So this is also another way to pass it params id of 1 we are passing and here you will be able to see the same thing user id of the same output you are able to see. So here we are trying to use params id of 1 means this is an object literal and it automatically gets converted to a query parameter. And if you try to see here in our thing, so post question mark id is equal to 1. So here it has been converted into query parameter automatically. The params what you are trying to pass it in this HTTP request automatically it has been converted into the question mark id is equal to 1. So this is an object literal and it automatically gets converted to a query parameter that is nothing but question mark id is equal to 1 in the URL. So here I am using the HTTP dot get of something URL. This HTTP request is made to the JSON placeholder this one with the query parameter question mark id is equal to 1. The response from the API is captured in the response variable and this dot variable we will be storing it and we will be showing it that one. So this is one thing. So while using the object literals is very simple. So there might be cases where you need more control over how the parameters are constructed or serialized. So for that we will be using one of the class present in the Angular that is nothing but HTTP params. So normally what I am trying to do so using these object literals and all those things are simple. But you might in some cases you might want to get more control over the, how the parameters are constructed means then we need to use the HTTP params class. So how we can build this one is so here for this one. So let's say that constant HTTP params HTTP params is equal to new HTTP params. So we can use this new HTTP params. This is our params. 
and here in order to construct this one so we need to use uh, let params is equal to params dot set of okay params sorry http params http params http params dot set okay dot set of id comma sorry key and the value that's it so this is one way so now we got the params value and here directly you can use these params here so you can use this params directly here that's it so sorry we need to provide it in uh, what i want to say <coughs> this one that's it so this is also one way so now if you try to see the output so then also you'll be able to see that we are trying to send it in question mark id is equal to one so here you need to understand one thing is http new http params which we are trying to say this is not mutable okay so this is an immutable immutable object what is the meaning of this immutable so here if you try to see for this http params i have appended this uh, i have appended this id is equal to 1 so now if you try to see here constant params console.log if i try to show you console.log params dot to string so if i try to show you the params dot to string you will be able to see in the console so you will be having only the user id for this one params dot to string means let's try to refresh this page so we are not able to see it or what yeah here you'll be able to see id is equal to one but if i try to uh, do the http params dot to string so if i try to do it this one so now this one also should have this id right so but you'll be able to see empty so why because so this is immutable so that means every time whenever you are trying to use this one so let's say that if you are trying to use let params is equal to okay let params is equal to you have set this one params one okay and here params one dot set you have you have used it as a params two and here let's try to see let's try i will try to show you so i am removing this one all and here you are trying to use it params and here i can use something like params two dot set of I will use user id of 1 okay sorry user id of 1 i have set it like this so here what we are trying to do so first we have created with one variable params is equal to new http params and if i try to show you in the subscription only i will try to print everything so here i will be having something like <clears throat> uh, let's say that params 1 and params 2 so let's try to do params 1 dot to string i will use it and in the same scenario params two dot string also i will try to use it so these are the two variables right we are having so now if you try to see the output for this one so first of all what we have did it so here i am trying to show that http params are immutable so that means when i have tried to create a new instance for this http params a new instance will be created and stored in the params one now when i am trying to set an id to this one so here the params one variable will not be changed the object instance will not be changed here again a new instance will be created and this instance will be returned to the variable so here whatever the variable is there so you you can yeah, it will be assigned but params one will remain like that only the object data will not be changed you see a new object will be created and a new object will be placed in the params two. so that means the whole data you are able to have it for example let's say that you are having another one params three okay and here i will try to do the params two and here i will try to do something like uh, filter is equal to one let's say so for this params two so i have set this value right if you try to see here still in the network we are able to see only the id and user id is, has been sent but the filter one has not been sent why because it is in the params three variable params two value will not be changed here whenever, whenever i am trying to use the params one dot set of idea one means so this params one will create a new instance and it will add the id of one and it will be stored in the params two so params one will don't have any query parameters params two will have an id of one when i am trying to set filter is equal to one means then params two will have id a new instance will be created and then from that instance filter will be added and stored in the params three so like this you will be having three sets of params thing so if you try to show the params three dot string means then you will be able to understand very quickly so now here the first param you will be having empty and the second param you will be having id of one and the third one you will be having id of one filter of one so that means for each params you will be having a separate set of copies so that you can use it so there is no need there is no problem that the data will be changed so here always data will be predictable so that is the main thing i am trying to tell you so here you will be having more control over the http params 
So that is the main thing which I want to tell you. So HTTP parameters are immutable, meaning once it is created, you cannot change it directly. Instead, methods like set, append, etc. return a new instance of the HTTP params with the changes applied. So that is the main thing which you need to apply. So here notice how here the params is never directly modified. Instead, set returns a new instance to the params with added parameters. This ensures that the original params remains unchanged and you can safely build up the parameters step by step without overwriting or modifying the initial parameters. So that is the main thing which I want to tell you about the HTTP params. So there is also a codec options in this one which we can provide it. I will try to explain in the next video. So this is what about how you can append the HTTP parameters or query parameters in the uh, URL while making an HTTP request. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.